Millions of genetically modified mosquitoes are set to be released in California and Florida to reduce the number of disease-carrying mosquitoes. The Environmental Protection Agency on Monday approved the plan to further test the modified insects. The mosquitoes were created by UK-based biotechnology firm Oxitec, which is funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, in an attempt to prevent insect-borne diseases such as dengue fever, yellow fever, and the Zika virus. The genetically modified male mosquitoes, which do not bite, will be released into the wild where they are expected to mate with females to pass on a lethal gene that will effectively ensure their offspring die before being maturity. According to a Yale University news release, millions of genetically modified male Aedes aegypti mosquitoes were released over more than two years in Jagobina, Brazil. The mosquito strain carried a dominant lethal gene that was meant to render them unable to produce viable offspring with wild female mosquitoes. According to the Yale News release, the experiment was aimed at lowering the local mosquito population to reduce the public's risk of contracting diseases such as Zika, Dengue, and Yellow Fever. In a study published in Scientific Reports, gene samples of both the transgenic and wild mosquitoes were analyzed before and after the release of the modified males. Researchers found that some of the wild species retained genes from the transgenic strain, despite initial claims that the genes would not enter the general population, as any offspring was expected to die. According to the news release, the mosquito population initially declined after the transgenic mosquitoes were released into the wild, but increased again after about 18 months. Researchers say the local population is now likely more resilient since the population has mixed with strains from Cuba and Mexico that were crossed together to create genetically modified males.